The Consumer Electronics Show happens in Vegas every year. It's huge. It's been a chance for companies to show off the newest in tech innovations. And tech columnist Jennifer Jolly was there and has an update. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. That's right. It's so crazy. I have always wanted to go to CES. I'm, I'm, nef I'm definitely not qualified. Like King Five's not sending me there. Like, what do you know about tech? You just want to walk around. <laughs> Next but year, you can come with me, yes. and we can fly drones and use AR, VR goggles, and ride smart bikes. Maybe take a flight in an air taxi. Oh, yeah, you can come that, with me. That this happened. Was, that was a thing. You took a flight in an air taxi. I didn't actually go up in it yet. They they offered it to me, but <gasps> I was too busy okay. at the time. But but I have seen these flying cars, and this was my fifteenth year. So it was a big year, mainly due to an infusion of AI in everything. So, okay, let's talk about that, because you mm -hmm. say there's going to be a seismic shift yep. on how we interact with our gadgets. What do you mean? Yeah, this is big. So, like, going from that, that Palm Pixie yeah. to the first iPhone, we are in a time like that. Even oh, the are. launch of the Internet, when we went from dial-up to broadband to how did we ever live without this, <laughs> we are in a very similar time. AI has basically made it possible for a bunch of parts and processors to uh, function with autonomy, mm -hmm. with memory, being able to learn what you want most yeah. um, and, and respond to that in real time. Wow. It, it sounds creepy, and it but is it a is little, a little creepy, creepy, but we also but... have to realize that it's not like the thing yeah. that we realize is that when you autofill, yeah. when, when it autofills for you, it, that's AI and it's been doing it for a while. So, all right. It, it's going to help you out going forward and more than it creeps you out. You won't notice it overnight. It's you won't not gonna, recognize it's it not as gonna, AI. Yeah, the robot you know, army isn't gonna come in and take over your house, <laughs> but you will notice more security, things getting smarter, better, easier to use. Okay, I love it. So you brought some of these things here yeah. today. Uh, let's start with this toothbrush. Okay, so this is the O-Clean X Ultra S. Okay. So this is a Wi-Fi enabled smart toothbrush with a touch screen on the front. As you're brushing your teeth, it uses bone conduction technology inside your mouth. So it will tell you. So you're brush, brush, brushing, and then it'll say, uh, you're brushing too hard. You're, you're missing teeth. You know, you're not doing your right oh my side of your mouth. It'll say um, you've missed number 24, go back and get it. Well, yeah, and then it'll show you when you're done, it shows you a little picture of a mouth, and it's saying, I don't know if you remember, when you used to go to the dentist, yeah and they give you that tablet and it would show you where there's still plaque on your teeth after you brush. This does that in real time with this little smart wow. screen on the front of the brush. I like it. I mean, I feel yeah. like it's calling me out on some stuff. But I feel that's the okay. same way. I feel like I it's don't want to be shamed me. by my toothbrush, but actually, I have such bad teeth. Maybe I should be. It says over pressure, and it does it in this British woman's accent. And you are the only person who hears it. Okay. It's like a voice in your head. Oh, it's, oh it's in your head. It's bone conduction technology. Oh, bone con as you're using it. So it goes it. through the bone. So wild. All right. You so know what? Wild. I'm gonna have to try yeah. that and get back to y'all on this one. Okay. What do we yeah. have next? We've got the. X-Real Air 2 Pro AR yeah. glasses. What are these? Okay, these look like just a really cool pair of sunglasses, right? Oh no, you put these on and you use a USB-C, you plug them into any monitor that you're watching. So your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop, your gaming controller, and all of a sudden you have an augmented reality screen, a virtual screen that's anywhere from 10 okay. to 30 feet high. It, they're not on right now because you actually have to plug them in. They're not wireless, okay. but they look so cool. I use these on planes. I've had a pair of these since November. I was an early tester of these. Okay. I use them on planes to watch movies on planes. Nobody can tell. It's they not think too I'm just close weird to your face. Wearing... It doesn't freak you out. No, they they think it it looks it it, it superimposes it over any place that you're looking. Okay. So the screen isn't right in front of your face. It's whatever distance you want it to be. Okay, so whatever I'm looking be. at. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm here for that. I wanted to try them on because I wanted to see if they were comfortable. They're real because they look like they'd be heavy. They're not. They're very comfortable. Oh, no, and you can even put your own reading glasses in. The, you can do your inside own lenses them. inside of them. Okay. And what's cool about these? The American headquarters are here in Seattle. So right on. Yeah, Supporting these Seattle got dropped business. off from Seattle. Let's talk about this cool bike you have here on the set right now. This is the Utopia bike. This is another one of those completely next level upgrades for a smart bike. So you can use voice technology. Um, it's L. LTE connected, which is amazing when it comes to if anybody steals your bike, you can track it down in real time, anytime, anywhere. 
It also, with that infusion of AI, it knows and can tell if you're on city streets, if you're on trails, if you're on a hill, and it can, once it gets to know you and your habits, mm -hmm. it can kick in that extra help for you when you need it most. And it's got a really cool touch screen. It's got all these things built in that, you, you, like for the horn, you can customize the horn. So I have it set to a horse, Winnie. Oh, I like When that. I go by now. Mine. The, the most amazing thing yeah. about it, it weighs 37 pounds. No kidding. It's carbon fiber. All, all right. of the e-bikes I've tested. Up. Can I pick this up? Yeah. I'm picking it up. All right. I just want to try it And you can see the quick. cute little screen on the top there. Oh, that is really... The, oh, it's like, hello, good morning. It mm -hmm. goes morning 80 too. miles on that a single crazy. charge. And you know the battery is basically heavier than the bike itself. Okay. So really cool. We only have two minutes left and we got okay. three more cool things to talk about. Let's set let's okay. up this drone real quick. What is this Hover Air drone for? Is it just for fun? It's just for fun and it's really a flying camera. So oh. more than kind of a drone that you race or do stuff like that with, this is a way to use that aerial photography. What's cool about it, aside from the price point, it will follow you around. You can launch it off of your hand. It'll land back onto your hand. Uh, it's got these five different modes, and it the cost it starts around three hundred fifty dollars. Oh, and bad. we've seen these for years, and they've started much, much higher than that in the six hundred, seven hundred, thousands. What a great way, because so much of our family stuff now is our family pictures, is, is things that we want that we can do with this type of reality. All right. I've flown a lot of these on TV before, and it's always kind of scary because because the blades are out. Oh. So I like that the blades are contained. On yeah, this you don't one want that well. getting in somebody's hair. Yeah, exactly. which blooper. has happened on live television. That's with a blooper me before. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about LG's smart home <gasps> AI. Take a look at this little robot helper. Uh, they call it the smart AI agent, uh, and they also tell us that AI is is for um, adorable innovation. Uh, it, this guy's this, not coming after me in a robot this army. This little guy. Uh, can talk to you. He greets you at the door when you come home. He can integrate with all of your other smart home gadgets. Aww. So he can tell you when the laundry's done or, That's hey, it's cute. cold outside today, put a coat on. So, yeah, they haven't told us when this is going to come out, but there's a big race to get the first I'm kind sure, of I know, smart home robot. I know Amazon's been working on that, too. Yes, so, they all right, have. We only have about 30 seconds left. Tell us about LG's newest TV, because this is pretty amazing. This is a transparent TV. It's the OLED T. It's their new signature television. And I actually stuck my arm behind that front panel. It's an opaque panel of glass. You can push a button and it raises a darker screen when you want to watch kind of normal TV. The idea here, free your space from the big black box that we've had since the dawn of time with televisions. You can stick it in front of a window. This also expected out later this year mm -hmm. and we expect it will cost an absolute fortune. Well, yeah. <laughs> there you have it. Thank you so much, Jen. This has yeah. been great learning all this stuff. I hope you come back soon and show us more fun tech. I absolutely will. That is so cool. All right, we're going to link all these cool tech gadgets as well as Jennifer's latest column from USA Today on Big Tech Trends. Just go to our website.